Hello guys, welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. Today I will explain what shared preference is and how should we store some of the primitive data types in shared preferences such as int, float, boolean. So shared preference is one of the way to store data persistently in Android application and the data is stored in key value pair. So it is simple and easy to implement compared to the other data storage options like SQLite database or Cloud Firestore where we need to write a lot of codes. But in shared preference the data is stored persistently. It means the stored data will remain as it is even when the app is closed and removed from the background. Hi my name is Subhajit and I make videos on Android app development. So if you are new in this channel then please subscribe and hit the like button which will encourage me to make more videos. So now before we get into the coding stuff, let's talk about the APIs to access shared preferences. So to access shared preference, we have a total of three APIs. Get preferences used to access activity specific preferences, which works within our activity. Get shared preferences used to access application level preferences. And this is also work within our activity. Then get default shared preferences used to get the shared preferences that work with Android's overall preference framework. And for that we need to use preference manager. Alright, so we have a simple app where we have a text view and two buttons. And if we press the add button several times then total value will be incremented by 1 and if we press the sub button then it will be decrementing the total value by 1. So simple enough. But if I close this app and reopen it you can see the total value will be changed to 0. So now if we want that total value must be there in the text view even if we close and open the app. In such case we can do so with the help of shared preferences. So let's jump into the Android Studio and implement it step by step. Alright, now here inside button add on click and button sub on click method, we have to write all the codes for saving data in shared preferences. But to make our code clean and readable, I will do all these in a separate Java file. So first right click on the root package, then new java class. Let's name it pref config. And inside this pref config class, we have to write two methods, one for saving and the other one for retrieve data from shared preferences. So public, static, void and the method name, save total in pref. And we will pass two parameters here. One for the context and second one for our total counter value. So int total. Now create a shared preference object called pref equal to context dot get shared preferences. And here we have to pass the name of preference and mode which will determine the permission of our preference file. So let's name it my preference name, then context dot mode. Now before we go further, let's talk about these operating modes. Mode private. This is the default mode where the created file can only be accessed by the calling application. Mode world readable. Any application can read the preference data. So this may cause security holes in applications. Mode world writable. Any application can edit the preference data. So this may also cause security holes in applications. Mode multiprocess. This method will check for modification of preferences. Mode append. This will append the new preferences with the already existing preferences. Mode enable write ahead logging. When it is set, it would enable write ahead logging by default. Now to avoid any security drawbacks in our application, we should use mode private. 
now let's define this my preference name at the top of this class so press alt enter then choose create constant field now i'm going to copy my package name and paste it here next we need a set preference editor object for modifying values in a set preference so set preferences dot editor then i name it editor equal to pref dot edit then editor dot put now here you can see there have a total of six different data types that we can store in shared preference by simply calling put int put string and so on but if you notice there has no such put methods which could save array list in shared preferences so that i have made a separate video about saving array list in shared preferences if you want to know about that check out this video description anyway now we need to store an int type data therefore we can simply call put int now inside this parenthesis we have to pass key and value so pref total key then total which is the total value of counter now we also have to define this pref total key so press alt enter and choose create constant field and set a unique string key called pref total key finally editor dot apply we could also use editor dot commit and this is it for saving data in shared preferences now we need to write another method to retrieve saved data from shared preferences so public static int then the method name load total from pref and here we just need to have one parameter for the context now here we also have to create a shared preference object so i will simply copy this line and paste here then return pref dot get int here we have to pass pref total key and the default value zero all right now let's move on to the main activity and inside button add on click we have to call save total in pref method right below the counter plus plus so pref config dot save total in pref and pass get application context then counter next we will do the same thing for button sub on click so i am going to copy this line and right below this counter minus minus paste it so whenever a user clicks on a button add or button sub the counter value will be incremented or decremented by one and that counter value will be saved in set preferences now the final step retrieve data inside on create method and display to the text view so here counter equal to pref config dot load total from pref and pass this for the context now display this counter value to the text view so txt total dot set text and your total is counter now let's test our application now press the add button several times now close the application open it again and here we go now we can see our last incremented data is still displayed in the text view and now if i press add button it should start increment from value 6 now close the app and open it again you can see data is still remain in the text view so guys this is how we should implement shared preferences for android applications in the next video i will talk about delete a specific key from shared preferences or clean up the whole shared preferences if you still have any questions please drop your message in the comment box i'll be happy to hear from you
and if you think you have learned something new today hit the like button share with your friends and subscribe for more events that's all for now guys see you soon in my next upcoming video thanks for listening